Which sadly means we can't do the whole jingoism. Oh god. That actually killed my economy. Was I making that much money from Sicily? Yeah, for some reason my poor people don't pay taxes anymore. Oh, is it because that was a... Oh wow, that's a universal minus 20% tax. I, that's a bit unfair. Like I get that this I get that the two Sicily people wouldn't pay taxes, but like why do the entire nation get a tax discount just because oh that's fucking crap. Oh well, no more military funding then. Which in hindsight I should have stopped a while ago, but whatever. And so why can't I do social spending? I mean, it's not like I have any social programs anyways, but I Damn it. Okay, uh we can recover. Let's do Ela Railroad instead. Yep. Then we can still try and recover some research points for the um for the uh, other shite. Tax efficiency down by 20, but yeah. Manlet to Norway must be uh, one five centimeters tall. Though. Here, 170. Uh, no. The average height in Norway is, or the, the average height for young men is uh, one seven, or 185, or I think it's 184 or something like that. Uh, also, what the hell country are you from, Gail? I don't think there are any countries in the world where young men are 170 at this point. Says a man who is 170, but, you know. Uh, this seems quite realistic, to be honest. Southern Italy is not integrated today after all. Yeah, it's totally awesome. Like, I like this event. This is good. I still don't like how, like, all... Like, I feel like... I feel like... I feel like these provinces should get a provincial modifier that reduces tax income from them. I don't understand that just because these guys are being salty that, like, I get less taxes from my Chinese population. Like, that doesn't add up. That's just weird. And annoying. I do wish I still had those cores on the Rhone. Because it's not like I want... Well, I guess, yeah. I guess I would need to take Savoy. The Burgundians would actually accept that. I honestly think that's what we're going to have to do. Hofsids and Switzerland would not join, which is super stupid and annoying, but... Um... But yeah. Not young, just men in general. Alright. It's not too low. Uh, so, my king, is it time to kick some duels to unite Italy? Yes, it might. It might. I just wish I didn't have to kick the Venetians. Like, I'm technically their brothers. Although, don't tell them I said that, because you... But, uh, you know what I mean? But yes, I do think that makes sense. I don't think you have to, and also you need to kick them anyway. Just googled it up and the average Brazilian man. Yeah, I assume young Brazilians are way taller than that though. But, uh, hmm. It's 
just that the United Republic has such an insane amount of dudes. I feel like I want to wait a bit to try and get a bit... Well, there we go. Okay. I just fear that... I mean, I, I would assume that Burgundy would get overrun because Burgundy has taken all their troops and put them in China instead of actual defending... You know, instead of actually defending the homeland. So there's a very good chance that this war would turn into an utter disaster. I guess what I actually need to look into is like, how are we doing on defense generals at the moment? Yeah, I don't know if I'm comfortable fighting the... Um the United Republic without a defense general. The natives are fairly short. Yeah, but their genes are pretty short as well, aren't they? Well, not as short as you'd think, but, you know. Aragon became Catalonia. They did? Hey, look at that. Constitutional monarchy. Ew. Wow, they just gave up their course. Actually, did they have course on this shit? Yeah, what's my shoes with these guys up? 72. I might just... I don't know. I am not feeling super confident about fighting the dual monarchy at the moment. I really am not. The large majority of an individual's height is nutrition dependent. Yeah. Although I had good nutrition as a kid. And I'm still tiny. To be fair, my my back is like uh, basically broken. Like my I have scoliosis. I don't well actually that's not I yes, I do have scoliosis, but I don't only have scoliosis. I also have like like scoliosis is the part of the is it like a, it's the thing where your back is like vertically fucked, but I also have like the other thing as well. So it's like no, not vertically fucked. What am I saying? Like my my uh, back is like fucked in all kinds of ways. Scoliosis boy here too. All right, scoliosis bros then. But yeah, I also have the thing where my, um, where, like, my, uh, my spine doesn't really connect properly to the, uh, to the bone below the spine. I don't know what that's called. Um, and so, like, the bone, not bone marrow, but the things that, like, make, basically, when my spine connects to the bone below it, it, it's connected poorly, and so it makes it hurt all the time, and so my back is always painful. That's a lie, actually. It hasn't been painful in years, but that's because I stopped moving physically. Yeah, let's not talk about how I am like a f malformed physical specimen. Let's play the game instead, eh? <laughs> Why does my Switch chat always re revert back to me being an ab abnormal shite? What is this? That was a joke, by the way. True patricians have connected tissues disorders. Yes, see? Slovakia knows what's up. Um, Alright, how are our focuses? Okay, so we have done more than enough clergymen here. Do we have clergymen in this land? Yes, we do. Mm -mm. Let's shit out some more clerks. Honestly, let's actually have a look at our industry. And I would remember what the optimal percentage of a factory should be clergymen. Let's just do some craftsmen for the time being. Let's also get some basic 
crud in this province. Oh, please. Yeah, no, I, I can make clothes. Okay, good. Yeah, clothes. Let's go the whole... Yeah, textile mill. Let's get the whole line going there. We're already doing glass, so why don't we also do winery? And... Ooh, or bottling works, as the HFM guy insisted on calling it. Yeah, for some reason there's a bunch of these... Um, Luxury clothes factories all over the place. Might as well do luxury furniture while we're at it. I'm pretty sure we have quite a decent supply of luxury wood, or tropical wood, that is. Um, Nouvelle Linstre is actually surprisingly successful at paper. What? Really? Anyone know what paper is used for? It's not a part of any... Is it ammunition? No. I don't even know. I hate my corset. You have a corset? Okay, your stuff is worse than mine. I had uh, where my back isn't straight and it is a bit turned. Yeah, my back is like a fucking snake. It doesn't bother me in the everyday though. But if I fall over, I become like an old person. Um, like if I fall the wrong way, my back will hurt for like three months. And it'll, it's like actual like borderline chronic pain. So, I'm very careful to not fall over, because falling over hurts. <laughs> Check the trade screen. Ah, but the trade screen always changes. I'm not sure if I trust the trade screen, to be honest. Fine. Let's test this. Alright, so no one needs... Yeah, it's a price change. Right, so we need, or people say they want machine parts, but like, but machine part factories are never profitable, so I'm not sure if I believe that. Iron is not profitable though, interesting. I mean, that's a good thing. How about coal? I guess these things are not... I guess you just... Mm. Okay, I'm not sure if I understand that, to be honest. Dye is in high demand. Wait, do we need dye to make uh, cloth? Not that we have the technology to do um, dye works. Probably explains why... Yeah, I don't know. I think our industry is okay. I think I just need like more technology. Wait, what year did you say the mod starts? Uh, it starts in the same year as the normal game, so uh, 1836. Yeah, let's see. Uh, big industrial areas, Charlize, no, Amelia. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, oh god, there's no fucking clerks in Lombardia. That's definitely a thing we should focus on. Let's get that to be a thing. All right, so we made the, or we permitted the capitalists to build some uh, railroads, but I don't have that much time to waste on that shite, so I'm just going to manually build the rest of them. So I've got shit to do. 36 damn it, yeah. <laughs> It's truly chronic pain. No, it's not chronic pain. It's, uh, as I said, it just hurts if I fall over the wrong way. I haven't struggled with it in years. Uh, basically, I stopped physically training or moving. And that 
relieved the pressure on my back, I guess. And now my back feels nice. Nicer. Alright, I think that's my entire empire. I... Oh, no. No, 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 I didn't annex Hawaii yet. I was going to do that, actually, speaking of Hawaii. Anyone else uh, getting interested here? No? Ooh, Burgundians are thinking about it, but eh, they're not quite there. Good. San Marque Republic in Florida. Yep. Uh, they even have their own culture, Athesian. I assume that's related to Athens or something? But yeah, it's a thing. There is a potentially independent nation as well, Athesia, but but yeah, they start with that, so yeah, I definitely need to play Venice at some point down the line. They sound like an interesting nation, as long as you don't form Italy. Then again, as I, I, I guess I just proved that you can form Italy, and then just change the name and the flag, or I guess not the name, but you can just change the flag so it doesn't hurt your sensibilities. So the fact that engineers do not like split up properly in this game is super annoying. To be fair, before that uh, random patch, they didn't do that at all, but I don't know. I still claim the right to complain about that. And so I will. So rejoice, free Greek Florida. <laughs> I thought you maybe you picked up at the uh, EU4 end date. Now I think they wanted it to be like uh, they wanted the game to last a hundred years exactly, and they would prefer it like because that game ends at 1836, which is the start date of Hoi 4. So I guess they prioritize that. Honestly, I feel like EU4 should just end at 36. That makes more sense than making this game end or start at um, 1821, is it? I think that's when EU4 ends. But yeah, basically... Um, it makes sense that it starts in uh, 36 because... Um, at that point, most of the... Uh, ba yeah, basically all of uh, Latin America has become independent. And so you can actually play as them. Instead of having to start the game in the middle of an independence war. Which could be interesting, but... You know. It will have its issues. Breaking the Chinese tea monopoly. So a bunch of India turns into tea. Now I might not actually want to break the Chinese tea monopoly. Because I kind of already control a decent chunk of their tea. So. Ah. Uh, I wish this decision actually told you like what the decision or like what is the resource that you're abandoning, you know? Because that, that shit matters. Turns out... Madurai, Tajuri, and Mysore. Right. So none of the provinces that are producing important trade goods will be changed. So I think we can click this button. And it's not going to fuck shit up. Yeah, Pondicherry. And this place. Get tea. That's good. I want tea. But yeah, our natural dyes and our silk stays within our lands. 
as it should be. Hey, that's right! Aragon is no longer a great power, so they can't ban me from this place anymore. Excellent. So now we can actually secure Lucka. How lucky, eh? Ooh, that's not good actually. No, see, no, that's not, no. Damn it, really? Why? Yeah, see, I wanted to be in a war with the Bulgar or a Burgundian Republic. Now I might have to do a separate war. Time to get go get Savoy. Perhaps. I would be surprised though if the. Uh... I mean, look at this though. The the Burgundians are going to completely get destroyed. Look at this. The Burgundians has they have one army in Europe. Everything else is in China. This is where the army of Burgundy is. Yeah, there's nowhere they're winning that. But we might just want to risk it. This is going to be a lot harder than the war against the... Um Ah, oh, we're gonna have to find. Oh, shite. I'll think about it. We'll prepare for war and we'll see if we actually do it or not. It, it really just depends on how fast the Burgundians are gonna get overrun. Yes, Venice, please take your entire army and send it elsewhere. <laughs> I honestly don't mind that at all. And Vinland is invading Belgium again. Oh, no, no, they're not. Still not gonna help you. Because I'm not a fucking retard. Well, I'm a bit retarded, but not, you know, you know. You know what I mean. Basically, a war against Savoy relies on annexing, annexing them quickly and then hope for a white peace with the United Republic. Uh, Korea is civilized in this mod, so no, we cannot do them, sadly. I'm just waiting for organization. Anti-immigration riots. I mean, that's not my problem. <laughs> 